Hello, children. Are you ready for a story time? Today's story is called The Old Woman Who Lived in a Shoe. Have you ever met someone who lives in a shoe? I have never, except for this one in the story. It's from this book. It's called The Usborne Illustrated Rhyming Stories. And this particular story was retold by Russell Punter and illustrated by Joel Dryden. I'll write the names down for you later. So it's a rhyming story in that the words at the end of each sentence sound f similar. Okay? We're going to take a look. I think you're going to be able to understand what it is as we read the story. Okay? So put your hands together like that. Spread your fingers and go. Now it's time for the story to start. And we will listen with all our hearts. Ole, ole. Ole, ole, ola. Ole, 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 ola. The old woman who lived in a shoe. There was an old woman who lived in a shoe. She had so many children, she didn't know what to do. There was Hannah and Harry and Sarah and Sam. There was Aisha and Abdu and Daisy and Dan. There was Gwen who was greedy and Sam who was Stan who was small. There was Sean who was short and Tom who was tall. There was Jasmine and Jeremy, Sandy and Grace, boys and girls all over the place. Ying and Yasmin, Jacob and Joe squeezed in together with no room to grow. This shoe is too full, said the woman one day. We must get another. I'll look right away. With a list of the shoe stores, she went to them all. But the boots were too tiny and the shoes were too small. She was on her way home by the side of a river. When she met a huge giant, he gave a sad shiver. <laughs> Please help sobbed the giant. There's a crab on my toe. The old woman took hold and pulled it off, just like so. Thanks, said the giant. Now can I help you? Well, said the woman, I would like your shoe. Of course, said the giant. He gave her his shoe. And for being so helpful, take the other one too. Now all of the children have space to have fun and the little old woman can knit in the sun. So, did you see all the rooms in the house? There was the bathroom, the bedroom, the kitchen, the, the living room. And if you look at this last one right now, you can see all the children playing around. There's a playground even and a pool. So I hope you enjoyed the story and I hope you find all the funny places in the, there for the children to play. And maybe you can tell me about your places at your house. See you next time. Bye.